Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to draw a nice elevation in Revit. So I will tell you some tips and tricks which you can utilize to improve your elevation. So this is my ground floor plan of a small residential project and there are only two floors ground and first and you can see in 3D view. This is the project and I am going to tell you how to improve your elevation so i am going to my project browser here and i am going to my front elevation that is south elevation and i will select this one and i will select here in visual style hidden line so basically you can use black and white presentation of elevation for construction sites and if you want to make presentation to your client you can go for realistic and then you can also select consistent colors here and uh, set it and you can use this also for your presentation so for construction site you can use hidden line and it is very basic and simple elevation so you can improve this by going to your visual style and then you can select graphic display option and in graphic display option you can select these silhouettes here and if i'm going to my category here of silhouettes you can uh, select any other line here and you can also select white lines and you can apply here and you can see this is becoming better here and you can see this all lines are much uh, darker now so you can use this to improve your silhouettes and you can increase the thickness of these lines and then you can go to your again graphic display options and you can Select this shadow here and you can uh, use this cast shadow option here and I will go and apply here cast shadow and you can see this shadow is making this more presentable and uh, in detail so that anyone can understand the thickness of this uh, ex ex extrusion and uh, depth of the any part of the building so it is easy to understand if you will cast shadow here but this shadow is uh, much darker here so i am going to my graphic display options here and now i will go to lighting here i will select lighting and then you can select uh, sun lighting also and you can improve ambient lighting and this is the most important i am going to reduce the shadow here and I will apply here and you can see this shadow is much lighter and it will improve your elevation presentation so you can see this is much improved here and you can also go to your graphic display options and you can uh, select any other settings here so if you want to do some uh, sketchy line you can select this sketchy line and you can select this shadow here again and if you want to select this show ambient shadow also you can apply this and it will show much more shadows here but if you are making any black and white presentation try to avoid this ambient shadows and you can also select depth queuing here and you can uh, select this so that so it will show depth of this elevations here any part which is extruded any part which is behind this building you can show this in this depth queuing here and you can also increase or decrease this fade limit and you can apply this so you can see it is showing this uh, depth queuing here and you can do some settings here and apply this and you can also increase or decrease this like this one so you can improve your elevation settings by using this one and you can also go to your lighting and you can use sun settings also and artificial lights if you have any your in interior part you can use this so uh, i'm going to now my realistic mode here and you can see this is showing some depth so it is much more improved elevation presentation so you can show to your clients and contractor and it will give you more uh, breakthrough in your elevation presentation so this was the tutorial for the today session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit architecture so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye